Love divine, all love excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercies crown. And Jesus, thou art all compassion, pure unbounded love thou art. Visit us with thy salvation, enter every trembling heart. Breathe, O oh, breathe, thy loving spirit into every troubled breast. Let us all in thee inherit, let us find our promised rest. Take away the love of sinning, Alpha and Omega be, and of faith as its beginning, set our hearts at liberty. Good morning, it's Monday and it's time for our daily devotion. We are uh, moving forward with uh, this week planning to look at our love step prayer a little more deeply, passages uh, that speak about love and connection and community, um, uh, even as we continue to mark uh, five years of healing and hope that we have experienced. The passage for today is uh, 1 John chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. This is how we know we remain in God and God remains in us, because God has given us a measure of God's Spirit. We've seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. If any of us confess that Jesus is God's Son, God remains in us and we remain in God. We have known and have believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And those who remain in love remain in God, and God remains in them. This is how love has been perfected in us, so that we can have confidence on the day of judgment, on the judgment day, because we are exactly the same as God is in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear expects punishment. The person who is afraid has not yet has not been made in perfect love. And I inserted yet in there because I think that's the idea. It has not yet been made perfect in love. And he goes on, and there's context before and after, and it would be, uh, it would be well worth your time to read real, really the entirety of 1 John, uh, and, or at least, at least the passages before and after this. So, uh, often... There, there's been a lot said about fear this last year, right? Uh, we've all, we, we, we can tend to see this. It, I mean, it is, I mean, it is an imperative in the, in a sense. It's a, it's a, it's a, a firm statement. Uh, it's not a command. Don't fear. It is. A, there is no fear in love. If you're fearing, if I'm fearing, then I'm not. I'm not perfect in love. I haven't been made perfect in love. Uh, and so we can easily see this uh, as an imperative. Don't fear or else. Uh, I, I don't think that's what the intention is uh, based on uh, the character of God throughout the rest, uh, and especially in the crucifixion, uh, and, and the context of the passage. Uh, we can see this as uh, I'm going to hell or I'm judged if I have any show of fear or any sense of fear. There's something wrong with me if I'm afraid. Uh, and I, I really don't think that's, uh, I don't really think that's the point here. Uh, yes, ha uh, having fear is an indication that we are not yet made perfect in love, that we still have room to grow. Uh, and we ought to be gently encouraged to uh, remember uh, that God holds us, and so that we don't need to be afraid. It's interesting here that the opposite of fear, or the opposing force of fear, 
is not bravery or bravado or arrogance or confidence or even anger or being in someone's face. The opposite or the opposing force is love. So the invitation is to allow God's love to infiltrate us to the point where we're not afraid to serve God, even when we're anxious or nervous or uncertain or there are safety concerns. It is not a call to endanger others in our love, not fear, but a call to trust God who is in charge. And yes, we will fail. Uh, and if you, if, you, if you take a few minutes to read the entirety of 1 John, in, in, his, in, in his letter here John, of John, he's already covered that in the end of chapter 1 and beginning of chapter 2. The plan is not to fail. The plan is not to sin. We shouldn't sin. Uh, but we're gonna, and we must confess, and God forgives us, uh, and which is the plan. Uh, we're gonna sin, even though we shouldn't, and that's why we have Jesus, who deals with our sins. So the encouragement is to, uh, is to push forward just a little further in this divine love that uh, God has given us, uh, letting the Holy Spirit breathe into us, uh, and giving us the confidence not to uh, be brash or do whatever we want, but the confidence to know that God is holding us and that God is with us, no matter what is going on. Come, Almighty, to deliver, let us all thy life receive. Suddenly return and never, never more thy temples leave. May we be a blessing to you, serve you as your hosts above. Pray and praise you without ceasing, glory in thy perfect love. Finish then your new creation, pure and spotless let us be. Let us see thy great salvation, perfectly restored in thee. Change from glory into glory, till in heaven we take our place. Till we cast our crowns before you, lost in wonder, love, and praise. Amen.